Blessings, everyone. This is Sandra Walter, coming to you from Sisson Meadow in Mount Shasta. And I wanted to address the upcoming equinox. I wrote about it a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to kind of explain my perspective on what is occurring right now. I know the energy is getting quite intense for some people, and there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, we're experiencing another one of those bumps in energy, where the frequency of photonic light that is demanding order at this time is getting more intense. And the equinox is the end of that, what we were calling the Ascension Gateway, fall equinox last year to spring equinox this year as a, a gateway for the most intense part of, of ascension where we were able to set our intent and use that vortex, that squeeze, just as Gaia did uh, back in December, to birth something new. For a lot of folks who are pursuing the fifth dimensional experience, um, first of all, thank you. <laughs> it might get difficult to maintain that. And again, it depends on how much preparation you've, you've put into your ascension process, but just a few reminders in case you're just getting a lot of interference right now. The, the energies are, are taking a leap, and they're going to take a significant leap around the equinox, which means that the reality that you choose to create, you as creator incarnate, get to create whatever reality you like. And just as I mentioned back in, in uh, January, the, there's collective realities and then your flavor of a collective reality. When it comes to timelines, uh, the folks that created the Ascension timeline along with Gaia, uh, the stuff that I talked about in my course, you might be experiencing a very intense remembering of this time, which means that things start to feel like remembering the journey instead of experiencing it for the first time. And we're just coming back up to the point where we decided to, to go back in time and incarnate along this timeline, wake up, and then assist Gaia. So if you're starting to experience that, you might want to play with the moment when you when you've decided to to go back you know because we're coming up on that moment when, when you decided to, to split off and that's going to be your reunion point and your reunion point doesn't have to be something out in the future you can pull it right into you again this is deciding what you want to experience and why again the pure intention to to be in service in the highest interest of all concern is what is going to amplify your your experience, amplify your reality, your ability to really anchor that fifth dimensional vibration right into your beingness, and then miraculous things start to occur. This is when the, the spring equinox is when that full Christed consciousness, that solar Christed consciousness gets to bring forth that solar light within you. I know I, I talked about this in the course, but just briefly for the folks who, who aren't in there, the, the, the golden solar disk that is within your, your heart center is that what the Pleiadians call the new dawn, the, the return of the Christ, the here comes the sun, we're, we're, we're doing it, it's you, it's us. Not everybody wants to experience this. It is a choice. And if you're choosing the return of your Christ itself, this is an excellent time to bring that forth. Again, there's, there's always going to be people who are going to step out first and say, okay, let me bring this forth. I understand. And they're going to explore that in a myriad of ways. Right now, I'm, I'm connecting with, with Solaris, the sun itself, because it knows how to do this. It's bringing that information straight into the planet, and it's bringing that information straight into us if we command it and welcome it and have gratitude for that experience. If you're feeling that 
that pushing vibration, that warmth through the chest, you're getting symbols, you might get even a, a Maltese cross or something like that, you go coming into your, your awareness. And these are all, again, those, those combination locks, little pieces of, of the combination that eventually click into place and then you wait for the, for the, the cosmic go-ahead. This uh, equinox is one of those cosmic gateways where all the energetics, all the alignments, everything is, is ready and, and whoever is, is ready to have that experience with the intention of, of serving, of, of serving not just the, the, the higher levels, but all of humanity and the planet, um, Gaia is certainly going to appreciate you embodying that Christed, crystalline, solar consciousness, that divine human template. It's all the same thing. This is what we're moving into. This is us. It's not everyone all at the same time. I don't want anyone to think that the the predictions about well, I'm, I'm sure this crowd is a little bit out of there. But if you're if you're if you're stumbling across these videos for the first time, say waiting for a prediction, waiting for okay, when's it going to happen to me? You are creator incarnate. You create it in your own unique way with guidance from whoever you you want to grab guidance from and there's a lot of it out there there's a lot of beautiful teachers teaching all different ways to to accomplish this and you take it and you, you take whatever fits your journey you let go of the rest and you run with it and however you want to create this is fine i'm just saying that the opportunity is here to experience that and it's beautiful and yes, there's, there's a lot of, you can, you can see the, the splintering of realities where you, you are walking right next to someone who's having a completely different experience. This becomes even more apparent as we move through the equinox. People having amazing experiences of birthing this, this Christed light and the, the person next to them is completely asleep. And it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not up to us to rescue everyone. We are simply assisting the planet and humanity to get there a little bit faster, to, to merge all of this, exactly what is happening with our own self, merging the lower expression with the higher expression. And, and that in itself is an amazing experience. And when you, when you go within and you start experiencing the true, just, just channeling yourself, finally, the true you, without all the interference, you automatically up your frequency to a point where it doesn't, it, there, I, I keep saying, there, there is no dark influence when you get your vibration up and out of there. Those, those programs and those intentions are not meant for you. You know, this is part of the, the whole end game, which is, which is technically over already, um, is, is, is going to, you know, the frequency is going to do its work. You know, you really don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is follow what you want to experience and go ahead and be bold about doing, doing your way shower best. And being a way-shower doesn't mean that you experience interaction with ETs and you're, you're constantly seeing light beings or having bliskasms all day. That's not what it means. Being a way-shower just means stepping out of the box, exploring what's out there, and reporting back. And going, you guys, like, look, you, you step out of the box and you have the, the universe is at your disposal. It's your birthright to experience that. Go ahead and, and take it. And there's, there is nothing that is going to stop you when you, when you know yourself. But you can't, it, it has to come from within. You can't know yourself by looking at someone else's reality. This is going to be very apparent during the equinox and after the equinox. It's going to be very clear who is, who is understanding and integrating and knowing themselves and what they want to do and what they want to experience and who is, is still uh, 
grasping, following, looking at the external for proof of the internal shift. It all happens right here. And this is something that's available. And just for, for those of you who want the fifth dimensional experience, let me be very clear. The fifth dimensional experience is you opening up to yourself. And once you start doing that, and once you start really feeling that vibration, doing the clearing of all the illusion, when you let go of the illusion, the beliefs that you have about yourself, the beliefs you have about other people, you know, this is a very complex hologram that we are in. And there, there are many running at the same time. So when you're, you're choosing your timeline, hologram, reality, whatever you want to call it, be clear on what it is you would like to experience and why. You know, part of the exploration of what you believe is finding out why you believe that or why you want to have an experience. If you want to have an experience because you're afraid of not having the experience, uh, that's not where it's at. It's the, it's the joy within of that exploration, of knowing better, of saying, you know what, I'm, I'm pretty sure that what I've been presented with up until now didn't, just, just was not it. And you can walk away from it any time. And the moment you do, and the moment you, you realize, oh, wait a minute, I'm creator incarnate. And know it, and feel it, and anchor it. Nothing can touch you. You know, the, the folks that are in that fifth dimensional vibration, that are carrying it already within, we're incredibly protected by it. Not that we need it, you know, because you, you really don't. You really don't need it when you get into that vibration, because you know that there's a, nothing can, can penetrate unconditional love. <laughs> it's a light intelligence. It's a frequency that, that at its purest uh, trumps everything. So when you start embodying that and knowing it, nothing can touch you. There's, you don't have to worry about that. But you are going to feel the collective anxiety from time to time. And I have a spot in the galaxy right now. And the frequencies that are coming in because of this, this alignment, all these cycles coming to a close, all of the new cycles beginning, all of this, this energy field that we are moving through right now is, is causing order, photonic. Photonic light penetrates everything. Now, if you remember last summer, when I was having that conversation with my, my higher levels that I shared, and I was, I'm weeping in the middle of the woods because I saw that the, the, the darkest stuff was going to get taken out of the planet. And it's, uh, and I've, I've felt compassion because they're still our brothers, but they, they had, certainly had time enough and, and, and enough uh, forgiveness was available if they wanted to choose a different path, but they did not. And you can see the photonic frequency goes for the, for the jugular on the darkest stuff first and and take heed, everyone who's looking for signs, as to what that is hitting first. Okay? The, the darkest of the dark um, uh, get, gets hit offline, not in the media. The, you know, you're not going to hear about it on, on the news or the conspiracy stuff. But now, those, those layers, you know, it's like the, the bottom layers as the frequency goes up, all the stuff on the bottom starts getting taken out because it's not supported anymore. It's not judgment. It's not something's doing it. Literally, it, it doesn't have a, 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 it's a, a vibrational mismatch. It doesn't match the vibration of, of what is available. So it gets taken out. And it gets taken out of your reality through a, a lot of different ways. You know, it can be death. It can be destruction. It can be... Um, particular people getting the full impact of, of zero point dynamics right back at you. You know, you, you put out all this stuff and it, it just it eats you alive. You know, and that's people again doing the self-judgment thing. 
if you're getting into self-judgment, take just just take a look with compassion and forgiveness at what is presenting for you right now, because you have to let it go. There's no sense in tethering yourself to a sinking ship. Let it go. Let it go. You know, we, we don't need the ship at all anymore. Let it go. We're, we're, going, we're going higher. <laughs> and when it comes to, to fifth dimensional gateways, I know that's, that's very technical, but the, the fifth dimensional gateways will start presenting. And it's going to be subtle. You're not going to see a big stargate pop up all of a sudden on the equinox and go, oh, there it is, walk through. This is when we really get to experience it, and, and it's brilliant for a planet of mastery to be presented with, here is the summation of everything that you have experienced here, and here is everything that you maybe learned, maybe didn't learn. What would you like to do, dear masters? And it's completely your own decision. No one is making that decision for you. This has always been a planet of free will. I know it doesn't seem that way, but it is. And the longer you use your free will to, to uh, go along with things that just don't matter anymore, walk away. Walk away from it. You know, you're, you're, you're taking the higher experience away from yourself. No one can deny you that experience. And when the energy gets more intense, and maybe it's triggering something, you know, maybe you're just not, not clear enough yet, or, or have anxiety or whatever, and the, the zero point mirror is, is giving you, you know, it, it quadruples whatever it is that you have going on, yeah, more so, a hundred times, of, of whatever you have going on inside, you know, a little doubt will come up and all of a sudden it's a huge monster of a doubt. Take, take a look at that monster, because it's not outside of you, it is you, and, and decide what you want to do with it. Do I want to be eaten alive by the monster? Probably not. You know, how real is the monster? Um, it's holographic. Not at all. You know, decide what you want to do in your mastery. Mastery is not something that someone bestows upon you. It's something you accomplish with your own choice, your own free will. And it's available, and it's here. You get to, you get to crown yourself, darlings. It's, it's beautiful, truly. And as we approach the equinox gateway, as we approach the spring equinox, the best advice I can give on preparation is clear that which does not work anymore. The beliefs, the illusion, the more illusion you can let go of, if you can let go of all of the illusion and be amused by what is occurring right now, please have a sense of light and humor about the experience because the moment you step out of, of the box of the illusion, you take a look back and you go, oh wow, look at what I was doing. And it's not blame, it's not I should have done better, it is what it is. You, you can't go back and change it. You know, we're, we're on a timeline that's moving way, 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 way ahead. Take a look at what the illusion is still presenting to you that you don't want to deal with anymore. And drop it. You know, do whatever processing you have to do, do whatever emotional clearing. Wow. That's your freedom right there. You, know, you clear the beliefs that you have about yourself and others, and you are free to do as you choose. And that includes beliefs about government, society, everything. You create your own reality. Cleanse the body vehicle as best you can. You know, don't make yourself ill trying to get completely clear, but, but realize that the, uh, anything parasitic that you have in your system is, is also getting the, the zero point blast, you know, and a lot of those things uh, tell you things that, that are not true. So be sure to uh, be, be cleaning out the body. Relax as much as possible. Self-care. Really step away from the stress that keeps your DNA all coiled up, that keeps your, your cellular structures incapable of letting in the light. You want to be as open as possible. 
pay the, the, the healers that, that give good massages, you know, go, I'm going to the mineral springs as, as, as much as I can. You know, this is a, a time for, for yoga, meditation, relax, whatever it is that brings you joy, dance, play music. Creativity is the bridge to this higher creative realm because it is all about being a creator. You know, the, the, the creator state of consciousness. And I've been talking about since um, in, in 1999. Uh, oh, there's an eagle. Uh, the creator state of consciousness is something that is, is you. You know, when you are clear of all of the illusion, you are source. Having an experience. And then you're free to have whatever experience you choose. And not at the mercy of, of some external reality. So, clearing the old beliefs, cleansing the body, engaging in relaxation, staying open, staying focused. Do be creative about about ceremony, anything. You know, Gaia appreciates that when you, when you, with intention, work with her. Get out in nature. It's beautiful. You know, get out in nature and do something. Don't just sit in nature and meditate or whatever. Connect with, you know, this is all consciousness. We are, the kingdoms are, are already in that higher vibration. And this is, this is something that you, you just connect with, with all of the kingdoms when you're outside. You know, talk about getting out of the box, get outside, get out of your home, get out of your office, <laughs> and, uh, and, and connect with nature and be creative about what it is that, that you're intending with your reality. And it will ease you right through that doorway. And nothing will be able to prevent you from, from doing that. It's, it's impossible when you realize who you are. And please try not to worry about others. Try not to worry about that. Yes, we're doing the highest interest of all concern right now seems to be let us create uh, structures that assist in the transition, that, that bridge. But we can't build the bridge until we have the experience. So get into that experience, know the experience of fifth dimensional consciousness. And when you experience fifth dimensional consciousness and all the, 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 the incredible information that is available there and all of the, the creativity that is available there, I am completely blown away by the, the group in, in Mystic Sisters right now, this fifth dimensional women's group that I, that I started. Because so many of us were having these experiences that were way out of the box. I was like, let's get together. It's time to unify unity consciousness. You know, co-creation is where it's at. And we get to play with, with all kinds, I mean, the, the uh, incredible creativity and, and desire to serve with that creativity is incredible to me. And I'm not talking about painting and writing and, and, and music and things like that. I'm talking about people doing incredible things with, with new things, with crystals, with healing, with holographic projections, with, with, with all kinds of different intentions. And it's, it's just amazing, really amazing. But once we have that experience and we start to unify that fifth dimensional vibration, we create that, those bridges that bring, that, that raise the vibration of this planet right up into the fifth dimension. And if we want everyone to have that experience available, we anchor it right here and now. I love you also very much. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be chatting with Zany Mystic on a fireside chat with Zany Mystic. I can't wait to talk to Lance. It's going to be fun. Um, next Saturday, the 16th at 7 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, until then, I love you also very much.